first thing I'd like to do is thank the parents uh, for all the time that they've put in uh, with the volleyball girls, uh, coming and getting them, uh, supporting them at the games, and all those things that good parents do. Uh, I'd like to start out with our uh, kind of a season summary. Uh, first of all, we went to district in third place. And this is the second time I, we've been to district since I've been here. Uh, and while we were at district, we didn't place up to there in the uh, finish, but I thought we made a pretty good showing of ourselves. Um, as far as uh, district was concerned, um, we did place one girl on second team All-Star, and that was Aurora. Yeah. And and she made it mostly on her defensive play. Uh, I had Coach Lynch come up to me during district, and he says, you've sure got a good defensive ball club, but it should be nice if you had an offensive ball club. <laughs> Uh, that kind of embarrassed me a little bit, but yet it, it didn't because uh, it was our defense and our offense that got us there. But um, there's no doubt we were probably the best defensive team that was there in the district. Uh, before we did that, the next thing that uh, stood out as far as our accomplishments, we won the Monument Tournament this year, and we beat some good teams uh, doing that. And we placed uh, two girls on the uh, all-star first string uh, at the tournament, and that was Karen and Chan. <laughs> then to, uh, early in the season, uh, we went over to Crane, and I didn't wipe out any Elks this time because I wasn't driving. <laughs> uh, but we placed second over there. And then we uh, went to the Culver Tournament and we ended up placing fourth. And so as far as the tournaments were concerned, uh, I thought we really had a, a good year this year. On League All-Stars, uh, we also accomplished it. We, there's only one other team that play, uh, placed more teams on uh, all, on the all-star team, and that was North Powder. And we placed three girls on it. Uh, Karen was first string all-star, and Shannon and Aurora were second string all-star. <laughs> okay, now, the reason I mention these uh, all-stars is because these girls in themselves were really, they're good. Uh, they're some of the best in, in the league. This is what All-Star means. But to get there, they had to have a, a lot of support. And the support came from the rest of the team. And we had a lot of talent this year. Uh, this probably the best well-rounded team that we've had since I've been here. Uh, and that goes, uh, we had 10 girls on the team from um, Mitchell. And that's how deep we were. We had four <coughs> setters that at any one time that I needed them, they'd be in there. And you could rely on them. Uh, the rest were spikers. And this was the first time that I have had more than two spikers during the season and happened to try to mix things up to work all the spikers uh, to get those spikers in the best spot. We had... Uh, at least four spikers at any one time, and when Aurora was in there, we had the fifth spiker. So <laughs> we had spikers all over the place this year, and it really felt good. Um, I'm really proud of the girls from the fact that they made such a good showing, and we were uh, a young team, uh, with the exception of our captain, Kim. Um, and we're going to be uh, real sorry to see her go because she kind of raised the team. Uh, she's been here four years. She's taken them under her wings and brought them along. Uh, and she has really contributed. Uh, okay, 
I would like to uh, start out with uh, the awards.
that she's going to probably uh, be one of the best spikers, uh, bar none in the district, for uh, another year or so, and that's Shannon Hedrick.
character of the team.
there's always those around that uh, you know it's their last last time. Uh, I remember my last game that was pretty tough. I uh, first met Mark when I came here uh, for uh, to find a house. He was playing basketball. He was the only one that I knew <laughs> when uh, the people started showing up on the team. But I think that uh, if you are to look at a young man that has pure leadership ability, this person does. He never forces himself on anybody. He just gets out there and plays. And he gives it everything he has every play. Uh, although when he did finally get to play this year after his illness, he did get a little excited there at the first. He, he decided the quarterback was going to get free, but his end that he was guarding was right behind him, so he went to crush the quarterback in the first play that he was in. He threw a touchdown pass, him, but he didn't ever make that mistake again. <laughs> I really appreciate, even though I haven't coached Mark for the four years, I appreciate the fact that I was able to coach him this year. Thank you.